Hey, what is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some holiday home decor ideas that you guys can do. I know this is last minute, but you can always save this video for next year and these ideas for next year. So before we get into it, make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And without further ado, let's get into it. For the first one, we are going to be using this tray that I got from the dollar store. They have a bunch of these in different colors. And then we are going to be using this glass. This is really cute. It says, Tis the Season. And then we're going to be using these candles that we're going to be inserting into the, um, those glasses. And then I also found some of these pieces that I'll be using for the first one as well. So I'll take the tray, put two of these pieces down. All of these items are from Dollar Tree. So now we have this. And then all we're gonna be doing is inserting this in the middle. And then all we have to do is just tuck these in just like that. And this would be like a very, very nice centerpiece. Very simple, very holiday-ish. And you can just light the candles up in there and it gives you that very warm vibe. The second one, I'm going to be making just like um, a little bar. I was going to do like a hot cocoa bar with like hot cocoa mixes and uh, maybe some marshmallows and things like that. But I decided to not do the marshmallows and just switch it up. But I found this tray from Dollar Tree. And then I found these glass jars I think are super nice because after the holiday, I can definitely use these things for something else. So three of these glass jars and then I also grabbed some of these peppermints. I got some hot cocoa and then I also found some popcorn. So it's driven with some sweet white and dark chocolate and then it has that peppermint crunch taste to it as well. So I actually had two bags of these but y'all I smashed one of the bags because I couldn't stop eating them. Now I wish I would have got more bags because these are really, really good. If y'all find these at the dollar store, you have to try them out. Like I was going in on these, on this popcorn. It's so good. If I don't have enough popcorn to fill up one of these jars, you guys, I'm just going to use um, some of this and fill it up with the popcorn. So I found this at the Dollar Tree as well. This is a peppermint bark bar. So it's white chocolate candy peppermint crunch. These are, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste really good as well. So I'm trying to keep, you know, the peppermint theme on both sides and then I'm gonna do the hot chocolate in the middle. So let's just go ahead and do that now. All right, so this hot chocolate, of course, it comes in packs. And so I'm just gonna open up each pack and just pour it in there. Okay, so the hot chocolate filled up all the way to here. So you probably, if you're gonna get the hot chocolate from the Dollar Tree, you're probably gonna get need about, um, I would say, two more boxes. So three boxes in total. All right, so on to the next. So I'm just gonna take these peppermints and I'm going to go ahead and fill it this jar up with these peppermints. Now I grab two packs of these peppermints. Hopefully, this is enough to fill this jar up. thing we are going to be doing is filling both of these into this jar I'm just gonna taste one mm, so good. I love white chocolate mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. it filled almost all the way up I'm gonna add a little few of these in there. Just like that. Super cute. This is how everything is looking so far. I went ahead and attached this little sign that says whole ho. I was also thinking about adding some of these um, stars, these LED lights that I also got from the Dollar Tree as well. All right, you guys, so here's the finished look of the tray that I did. Now you can just put this up in your kitchen 
and this can be something that if you have guests over they can come in and you know grab something from the candy tray candy bar whatever you want to call it if you want to put some uh, marshmallows in there it can be like a hot cocoa bar or something like that but whatever you want to make it you can just add whatever anything in these jars and just make it festive get creative but this is what i did this is what i decided to do let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all right so for my next one i am going to be making some mini trees and i know i've been seeing a lot of mini trees that people have been making they've been putting glitter and things like that um making their mini trees i'm gonna put up like some pictures of what i'm talking about but i've been seeing these like these mini trees at target walmart with fabric on them so i think that is what i'm going to do for this video not i think but that is what i'm going to be doing for this video i found this pretty yarn so it's like a grayish color with like these silver sparkle strings in it and so I'm going to be using this to wrap around my tree. So I found this ball of yarn that I got from Walmart. And this was like $4.99 at Walmart. So not bad at all. Comes with all this yarn right here. So I can make a few Christmas trees using this yarn. And then I got this big white sheet of paper from the dollar store. So I got I grabbed two and I ended up making one already. So this one is pretty small right here. And then I even made a smaller one, but I didn't get the chance to tape it up like I did this one already. And then I'm going to make a bigger one and I'm going to put yarn over that one as well. I think I'm gonna just have to hot glue this thing down together because I don't know where my tape is at right now. And if any glue is showing, that is okay because it's about to get covered up. Now it's not moving. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that for the rest of it. Just need to cut the bottom of that. Y'all see it's uneven a little bit. So I'll just cut it to make sure that the bottom is even and can stand without leaning. So let me go ahead, I'm gonna fix this one up too. Cool. Now I'm going to take my fabric that I have. Woo! And I'm gonna start with the big one because I really want the big one to have the fabric on it. So let's just go ahead and do that. And I believe I would have enough for all three. So let's just get to it. Make sure that there's no gaps between them as well. I think this is gonna turn out really cute. All right, you guys, so I am done. With the Christmas trees, the mini Christmas trees, I am completely in love with the way these turned out. Now, this was probably like a $7 project. Instead of spending so much money on these Christmas trees, you guys, you can make your own. All right, so now I just want to show you guys these pillowcases that I got from Amazon. I really, really love them. Like, these are super cute and they just are perfect for the holiday. But everything you guys need to know about these pillowcases, how much they cost, um, the vendor that I got them from on Amazon will be in the description box below. Now, all I did for these pillowcases was I had some old pillows and I just went ahead and stuffed these old pillows inside these pillowcases because they needed a cover anyway. And so instead of me going out and buying like little fillers or some new pillowcases, I just took these pillowcases that are these pillows that I've already had that were ugly and terrible i just went ahead and covered them up using these pillowcases and 
I really love the turnout. But let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. All right, you guys, so now for the very last one, I'm going to be making a joy sign. I am going to be using the canvases that I got from the Dollar Tree. I just got two of them, dollar each, and then I just printed out some letters that I will be using. I might go ahead and use this glitter, this color on the joy sign. I'm gonna be using the garland as the O, but I'm still going to draw it on here just to give an outline of you know how big it should be and things like that. And I also got this garland from the Dollar Tree as well. So this is a very you know inexpensive project as well. I'm just going ahead and just cutting out all the letters and then just placing them down on the canvas. And then I went ahead and attached both of the canvases together to make one. And then I went ahead and added some sticks on the back of the canvases to make sure that they hold together. All right, so my O is a little off, but yeah, y'all don't mind that. But what I decided I am going to be doing is I am going to just put the glitter on there. So I'm going to put the glitter on there using some of this. And y'all, I'm just winging this. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just hoping for a good turnout. So let's just go ahead and get to it. So you guys see that I've already started adding the glitter using the Mod Podge and then just adding the glitter on top. The only thing that I, I would say that I need is some spray glue to make sure that the glitter does not fall off. Alright, so this is how my joy sign is looking so far. I will need to add my little decorations later because I was going to add like a little bowl up there. And then I have these glitter balls that I got from Dollar Tree as well and just add a bunch of these on. But since I ran out of hot glue or glue sticks, I won't be able to finish this right now. But with the bow on there, I think it still turned out really cute. You guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. As you guys can see, I also added some white paint around the reef part. All I'm missing is my little ornaments and things, little decorations to go on there. But so far, just with just with this, I might even just leave this how it is because, hey, the less, the better sometimes. And I like how this looks just as is as well. But let me know in the comment sections below what you guys think. If you enjoy watching this video, make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all on the next video.